Welcome back our dear viewers uh, preparing the young people to keep pace with the labor market and uh, developing the institutions uh, is a very important element in order to have a proper well-equipped uh, generation for the labor market. To shed more light on the issue we are very much delighted to be joined here in the study by Dr. Nuha Abdel Aziz our human resources expert. Uh, good morning Dr. Nuha and thank you so much for being our guest for today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you. Anytime. Always our pleasure, uh, Doctor. Why do we need uh, to prepare the youth for the new work uh, market, uh, Doctor? Uh, the youth are very uh, important because they are considered the change agents mm -hmm. uh, for us today. Um, they're very important and we need to really uh, make sure that they are indoctrinated into uh, our organizations in a very smooth and easy way. Mm. So uh, there is a very high percentage mm. of youth in our mm. organization. Uh, sorry, our, Dr. No, yeah. I, I do believe we have a technical uh, problem. We'll go to a short break and after that we'll be right back. Okay. Welcome back and we continue our interview here with Dr. Noha Abdel Aziz about the youth and the labor market as we were talking about going uh, to the labor market. Uh, how can we uh, get our uh, young generation ready to uh, the labor market with its new form? Uh, as we were saying, Mahisti mm -hmm. youth are very important to us and they are, they are considered our change agents for this for the future yes. because they form a very uh, huge population uh, in Egypt and we need to rely on them uh, this uh, coming you know time mm -hmm. so uh, we need to prep them for joining organizations uh, by having the very important skills that are needed in 2024 mm -hmm. the the needed skills uh, are uh, as the, the normal, okay, technical, if they are in an industry that is technical or, uh, you know, uh, according to the industries. Mm -hmm. But then more of the, more the soft skills, as we say. And it's not even enough now. The soft yeah. skills as the communication skills, problem solving and, yes. uh, you know, interpersonal skills and so on. Yeah. But even that is not enough now. Uh, we need them to have the um, approach of reskilling, upskilling, and reskilling. Upskilling meaning having their uh, mm. knowledge and experience and building on it when they go to organizations, when they enter organizations, mm -hmm. or uh, reskilling, having more uh, skills that are needed to broaden their mm. uh, experience and their work and so on. Yes. So. Can we say here, uh, Dr. Noah, that there is actually a real change in uh, the labor market? Definitely, mm. because the competition is huge. <laughs> and as we say, everything is not enough. Mm. Everything is changing. The change is rapid, yes. very fast. -based. Very fast. Uh, AI, as we're, yes, uh, indeed, uh, yes. as we're seeing, is, uh, you know, uh, already there. So it's not even uh, enough to have... Compu to be computer literate or you know having Not the right the languages yes. and, and so on no it's far more important than that and uh, having the flexibility to learn mm. Mm. having the flexibility to change with the changes because mm. the change is the only constant mm. and being able to have you know um, uh, as we say being dynamic the market needs dynamic youth it needs uh, youth that are um, as we say, curious, mm. continu having continuous learning. There was a survey that was made here in Egypt yeah. for startups and for uh, law, um, law firms mm -hmm. and for uh, multinational organizations yes. of different industries. Yes. And then these, they were asked, the, the employees, uh, them, the employers themselves, they were asked, what do you need mm. for your organizations? So in the law firms, they said they needed people who have research skills and have uh, languages, you know, uh, are fluent with languages and have um, team building skills. Mm. This is for law firms. As for startups, 
they need people who have who already have an experience hmm. like they went to internships and so on so yes. youth have to be working even when they are in, uh, in a university. university yes that's a must mm -hmm. uh, and and moreover uh, other organizations the multinational organizations they said they needed uh, people who are dynamic mm. people who are curious that's continuous learning and people who are very flexible with mm. change mm. as we see yes technology changes insta uh, continuously Mm. Uh, tools that we use even in our uh, domain and uh, human resources uh, yes. now it's all automated and it's digital and we we're uh, we're into a very different era Indeed. than was before yes so how can we let our young generation the youth ready for all these changes how can we uh, mm. make them um, uh, ready to be competitive for the job market tool with all its new uh, requirements and the new uh, changes that we witnessed? Uh, definitely. Thank you for this question because it's a very important question, mm. really. Uh, the first uh, thing, and I, I really want to stress on it, is the family. Mm. Give your, your children and the youth support because I see youth with very high potential in uh, interviews, you know, mm. when, I'm, uh, doing, uh, when I'm interviewing them. Mm. I see them with very high potential, but then they don't have the self-confidence. Mm. They don't have the self-esteem. This is very important. Give them the, support, the family support and then start letting them um, like uh, explore, see what they want to learn. And even if they finish the university, it's not, uh, it's not there and, it's, and it stops. It's, it's never. Start. It's never. <laughs> it starts. Yes. And now there are many platforms yes. for continuous learning. Yes. Learning online is very easy. Mm. Very easy. It's, uh, it's now very, uh, you know, uh, you just uh, sit yes. and Everything get Everything became easy and online now. So mm. give them the support. Start giving them the, the broadened perspective of learning. Mm and let them do what they want like if uh, a lot of people uh, who have graduated like from engineering very technical yeah they they decided that uh, okay they don't want to continue in uh, engineering as technical part so they shifted to managerial uh, yes. part and yes. this is now a very uh, legitimate yes. and uh, professional way there yes. is the technical part and there is the managerial part indeed so uh, everything is open. Mm. Don't uh, limit youth because they're not limited. Mm. Today's world is very broad and they need to have a lot of skills like emotional intelligence. Emotional mm. intelligence is one of the um, assessments we do when uh, yes. interviewing uh, youth uh, or fresh grads uh, into, uh, to, to join an organization. Mm. Uh, emotional intelligence like awareness uh, regulation, having the, the means and the tools to be um, uh, in, a, as we say, healthy conflict. Mm. Um, being motivated, self-motivated. Mm. Self-motivated is staying in the flow state. Yes. Flow state as in the here and now. You know, how to motivate yourself. Mm. Don't get bored after two and three years of uh, working mm. a, a certain um, job or something, you know how to keep yourself motivated mm. and I always uh, advise uh, youth to like stay for three to five years in a place and then if you're not promoted look for uh, a better place yes what are promoted. the best strategies here Dr. Noah to overcome <coughs> yes. the work challenges as you you said okay for work challenges definitely organizations need to do a very good onboarding program uh, an excellent onboarding program to get the youth in and immediately get involved with the teams that are yes. working because you know they stay for like uh, three months after even after mm. probation and so on uh, being like lost what do I have to do how do I do it mm. uh, how do I report this and that and so on so a good onboarding program is a must uh, they have to know their role is to know the vision and mission and values of the organization yes to be part of the team 
you get them in and let them feel that they are already part of the team mm. so that they start uh, doing good you know uh, mm. the job very well and producing getting good results and outcomes yes as we say yes and then supporting them all the way by um, like on the job training uh, shadowing someone uh, to uh, to learn to from learn. them seniors mm. and so on and having uh, coaching a coach uh, inside the, the, company, the organization, the organization. Yes. to support them mm. so they are guided and then they fly really if they if this is done the right way they fly mm. Uh, doctor, uh, is the emotional intelligence uh, becoming a must, a prerequisite for uh, the uh, acceptance in different organizations? De definitely, it is. Mm. It's very important because it gives you all the tools you need to, mm. uh, to, be, to have that smooth, uh, you know, belonging to mm. the organization. Yeah. Because unless you, you feel you belong to the organization, you will not be doing good work. Indeed. And being engaged and involved for in, in all the activities and all what's going on in the organization. Mm. Because sometimes, you know, uh, people when they work, they say, okay, I, uh, this is not my case. I, uh, this, uh, this doesn't concern me. And so yes. you cannot do that anymore. Mm. In Egypt, we have a lot of startups. Indeed. A lot. A huge number of startups. And startups are always understaffed mm. so they when so anybody joins youth joins um, the yes. organization uh, startups yes they need to do a lot of work uh, different types of work not only stick to the job description and that's it mm. Indeed. so yes yeah. uh, dr mm. noha abdel aziz our uh, human resources expert thank you so much for thank being you. our guest from today and for your very precious uh, tips uh, dr no thank always a pleasure you. Thank Our you. dear viewers <laughs> of that, we come to the end of this edition of The Breakfast Show. Till tomorrow is another cruise. Goodbye. Have a lovely day.